What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. And yes, oh man, I feel a little bit heavier because look at that, we got ourselves our fifth badge. Hell yeah. I feel good about this. I really do, guys. I feel so good because Koga had level 40s and 50 Pokemon, and it just made me realize something big. We need to drain just a little bit more. Just a little bit more because, uh, yeah, there are much more stronger Pokemon. So we're going to be taking a nice side quest uh, now that we're able to surf. And our first side quest is we're going to the Seafoam Islands, and we're going to go ahead and try and capture some uh, rare Pokemon. We will. So before we do anything, I'm going to make sure that... <laughs> Nothing, nothing uh, screws up right here because I always have this happen. I'm going to go to the PC and I'm going to change the box because in Pokemon, in the first generation, if your PC is already filled up to capacity, you won't be able to capture the Pokemon. You're going to have to switch it up and this is a legendary Pokemon that we're talking about. So, let's see. What am I doing here? Okay, yeah, so we're moving on forward. Yes, we're moving on forward right here. Look at that. And yes, we forgot there are two trainers right here that we forgot to battle. And wow, I didn't even battle this guy. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we're going to battle all these Pokemon trainers. Just a lot of Pokemon trainers. So many Pokemon trainers. So this one wants to fight, and here we go. I'm coming out with this Goldeen. I'm going to come out with Godzilla, Godzilla, because Godzilla, Godzilla can do this. Oh, yeah. Doesn't feel so good, huh? No, it doesn't. Oh, crud. Alright, let's go with another slash attack. There we go. Alrighty. Okay. Ah, uh, he's coming out with the... Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so... Uh, we're just gonna continue on right here with the slash attack. Going with the win. Look at that. No win at all. Mm-hmm. And he's coming out with the star you, so let's go right ahead and go with Sparky! Sparky the Spark Dog. Okay, he's not a dog. You're not a dog, Sparky. You're just a Pikachu. You know, I wish you were a dog sometimes. And there we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Good victory for us. So, yeah. You guys probably already saw in the last episode, yeah. The Koga's Pokemon, including all the trainers in the Pokemon Gym, they were pretty strong. Very, very strong. And, you know, it just it made me realize that I have to just train some more. And I have to do I have to do more than what I did back in my old walkthroughs back in Dravian XU 7-Eleven. So, I guess battle these guys first and then go straight to the next, next uh, city, which is Saffron City. We all know what's going on over there. There's something going on bad and wow you did not faint but you are paralyzed very much paralyzed and i'm gonna finish you off with a body slam look at that oh yeah don't like that huh sparky level 36 okay so let the leveling up begin coming out with this shelter and let's go with tank going with tank because he's tank all right let's go body slam he has yeah in the last episode too he learned his Body slam attack and oh, do not want that. Okay, so let's go with spring. Yeah, how do you like that? You don't like them, huh? That's right. All right, so that's two speedo torpedoes we just beat, and now we're gonna go into this house. Now this house doesn't exist in Pokemon Yellow, but as you can see, there is a, another Pikachu right here. Yeah, and it has this regular tone right there. And Pikachu, do you like her? So this place right here is the Pikachu surfing kind of deal. Dogs and burgers on special today. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's see, it's a, some sort of machine. Okay, I don't even know what the machine is, but as you can see right here, um, this is the the Pikachu surf event right here. Your Pikachu needs to learn um, surf in order to actually play this game. Um, the only way you can do that is through Pokemon Stadium. I think you have to defeat a certain level to actually enable your Pikachu to learn Surf. Um, we will be coming back here. Yeah, 30. Yeah, the Surfing dude. Yeah, we will be coming back here a little bit later just to do that. Um, I, I'm not teaching or I'm not hacking anything with Pikachu right now, but I'm just gonna move on. This is the Surfing place, which yeah, we're not gonna do right now. And here we go. Sea Route 19. 
Future City to Seafoam Island. So that's our first destination right there. And uh, luckily for us, we got a Pokemon and Nose Surf Thrasher. He doesn't, he's not afraid of water. And, oh, crud. Forgot about you. Forgot, yeah, forgot about you. Don't want to battle you, though. Okay, so. Let's see. Switch it off. Let's go to switch it off with Thrasher. He needs some more, he needs some more experience points. We're going to battle everybody here, and then hopefully in the next episode, we got Seafoam Islands. And we do have Pokemon that know some of these moves right here. So, here we go. Speedo Torpedo coming out with his horsey. It could be a disadvantage, but Thrasher is okay. He'll live. He shall live. Look at that. He just lived. He lived for a very, very long time. Coming out with his horsey yet again. So I'm going to go straight to the Thrasher. And the name Thrasher. Oh yeah. Look at that. Easy stuff right there. <laughs> Easy leveling up. That is great right there. That is awesome. Alright. He's traumatic right now. Okay. And now... I do have some repels. I completely forgot about those things. So, I'm not going to be battling any kind of wild Pokemon right here. I'm going to be battling all the trainers here. And there are quite a few. Never done this before. What's beyond the horizon? Beyond the horizon is basically space, homeboy. Hope you know that. Right, here we go. Swimmer wants to fight. Hmm. So what you're telling me is that there's a lot of horses around here. Hmm. I guess so. That was one of my things, guys. I really wanted to use a 4C for a Pokemon. Never really used it, but I checked, and wow, it is a long time away before you even get a 4C, so by that time, you, you definitely need a Water-type Pokemon to actually, you know, beat everybody here. So, yeah, 4C came out, and Gyarados is my mascot Pokemon. Yeah, you guys probably even know. The only Water-type Pokemon I will ever use is... Gyarados, I guess, I don't know, and, uh, wow, kinda cool, alright, let's give Ultra Psycho a little bit of loving, because, you know, he did help us win that last gym battle, right, yeah, so let's go with the side beam, side beam for the freaking win, there we go, and, uh, let's see what we got, oh, he's got a golden, I'm gonna stay with Ultra Psycho, and, uh, Nah, I'm just gonna stick with the, 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 the side beam. The, the, the side beam, the side beam will beat you. Oh yeah. Look at that. He's like, Blub? Yeah, you just lost. Okay. Moving on forward. I think they. Oh, look at that. Plenty of battles for us right here. These waters are treacherous. I bet they are. I bet they are. So here we have another Speedo Torpedo wanting to battle us, and he's got five Pokemon. Holy crud. Oh, wow. Okay, well... I guess so. There we go. And that's a thrash attack with the win and more experience points. I'm loving it. So I'm going to continue on with uh, thrash. Okay, look at that. Oh, yeah. Bye bye And then, what else? Oh, he's got a star you. Let's go with Sparky right here. Man, this should really, really help my Pokemon and then level them out. So let's go with Thunderbolt. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's some good stuff. There we go. And then, what else is Oh, he's got a horsey. Let's change it up to, not a but... Let's go with Pink. Pink needs a lovin', he needs a freaking lovin', he needs a lovin', lovin', the mighty lovin', lovin', and there we go. Body slam. Alrighty, okay. And then, coming out with his tentacle. So, let's go back to Ultra Psycho. First time we're ever seeing in a, a tentacle right here. Pretty good stuff. Good, good, good guy. And uh, here we go, Psybe. For a victory. This is also a poison type Pokemon. And there we go. He feels helpless, defenseless, all that kind of stuff. And Ultra Psycho finally grows to level 36 and it's 100 HP. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, dangerous. Okay, so that's one. Yeah, let's go with this guy right here. He loves rides. We got girls right here. Oh, wow, five. 
my Pokemon. I knew there was a reason for me not going right here. Typically, um, so if you guys have been with me since the, since Draven XE711, and we're, by the way, it's still gaining a lot of subscribers, and I'm thinking it's because I put this, this Pokemon playlist onto that channel, just to get more views. Um, if you guys have been with me, uh, uh since Draven XE711, you guys, and you guys, you know, have watched my Pokemon, Leaf Green, Fire Red, Red Blue Yellow, um, you guys should already know that I think there was like maybe one or two times I've never gone to this area, like this specific area, to go to uh, the Seafoam Islands. I've always taken the route from Cinnabar Island to Seafoam Islands. And I, the other thing too is I've always saved the legendaries uh, for last. Um, right here, I'm trying to change it up for you guys. I'm trying to make it a little more interesting for you. That and, you know, since I... It, like you know, since this is Pokemon Yellow, and the gym leaders are a little more tougher, I might as well just you know train my Pokemon up to at least have a fighting chance at the very end. So it's gonna be a while before we even get to uh, before we even get to uh, what was it, Saffron City. And by that time, you know, hopefully our Pokemon, at least most of our Pokemon, will be at level 40s. And uh, you know, you're on end, you know, it's just a, a major battle. And looking at Hollywag just getting beat. So my Pokemon are doing well. Ooh, lost. He did. <gasps> Alright, so here we go. Swimming great, sunburns aren't. That's pretty cool. Pretty awesome of you to say that. And here we have another beauty. She's beauty. Coming out with a Goldeen. And let's go with my Thrasher. Thrasher is kicking some butt with Thrash attack. This is pretty much a very good idea. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. So I get confused. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, so that... Okay, so I gotta switch Pokemon right here, because I cannot be confused and lose a lot of experience, or a lot of uh, HP because of this stuff. The puny Goldeen, but yeah, you... Wow! Oh, God. Okay. Come on! Come on, Hydra! There we go. Good boy. Good boy. There we go. And uh, Thrasher grows to level 35. We're getting there. And I thought Hydra was going to grow a level. No. So let's go and continue on right here. Come on, Hydra. Come on. There we go. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. That right there shouldn't have happened. Oh, God. Oh, great. Oh. Let's go again. Come on. Hydra. Do it. finally get to level 34, which is also great. Alrighty, okay, so we got another Pokemon trainer right here. Let's go ahead and switch it up. Um, let's go with Sparky. Alright, I swam here, but I'm tired. How deep, the, how deep is the level right here? How are you standing up? I want to know that. Hmm, beautiful. Beauty. Beauty the beautiful. Let's go with a Thunderbolt. There we go. Feeling that wind, feeling it, feeling it. There we go. And uh, we're gonna continue on. Come on. Let's do it. Come on. Oh yeah, Thunderbolts are just kicking some butts right here. Lots of butts. Everybody's butt. Door butt. And another star you. Come on. Let's finish this guy off right here. Thunderbolt. For another victory. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. And look at that. A level 37. For another victory right there. That's right. Alrighty. Okay, so. Let's move on right here. Hopefully we get something right here. Alright, I'm gonna have to make a slight pause right here. Alrighty, so sorry for the brief interruption right there. I had a little bit of something come up. So, anyway, let's go ahead and continue battling these guys right here because uh, I kind of have to battle them all. Alright, so who needs uh, leveling up right here? 
Ah, you know what? Hydra. Hydra needs more leveling up. Starting to see all my Pokemon right now. Pretty good levels. Why are you riding a Pokemon? Can't you swim? I can. I'm actually very damn good at swimming, but I'd rather ride a Pokemon because, you know, Pokemon are awesome. They're very awesome. So, here we go. He's coming out with his horsey, and I'm coming out with Hydra because Hydra is awesome. And he has Thunderbolt. Now, the thing is, if I'm shocking a water type Pokemon in the water, wouldn't that shock everybody close by? I mean, wouldn't that be dangerous? I mean, shoot. That would be dangerous. So, I don't know. He wouldn't shock, he wouldn't shock a Neo King, my, my Thrasher, because, you know, ground type Pokemon. He's alright. He's okay. He's, he's good. And, well, let's see. He's coming out with his. Oh, Seedra. Another Seedra. Oh, no. This is Seedra. Wow, I kind of got that messed up with Horsey and Seedra. Wow. What was I smoking? Nothing. Smoking life right there. And there it is. Another victory for us against the Seedra fully evolved Seedra in this generation. So here he comes out with Horsey again. Horsey, not a Seedra. And there it is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, how does that feel? It feels so good. It doesn't feel so good. No sir, Rebob, it doesn't. Alrighty. Okay, so... That's one down. Here's another person go. The water is shallow here. Pretty sure it is. I mean, it's water. It's shallow. And it's a swimmer, he wants to fight. Coming out with his shelter, I'm coming out with Hydra V Gyarados. Coming to you live right here on a Thunderbolt attack. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's, that's good. That's good Thunderboltage. Good Thunderboltage. And he's coming out with his Cloyster. This is a new one right here too. Meeting the Cloyster for the first time in Ice Type Pokemon. Don't want to mess with that, right? And there it is. Oh, come on! Ah, oh, jeez. This always happens. It really, it, like, it always happens to me. Nearly beat the guy. Survives one HP, confuses me, and then next thing you know, I get hurt. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, come on! You will not confuse me anymore. Come on! Why won't you hit him? Uh, come on. Come on, Hydra. There we go. God, I hate confusion. I think I've been more confused here than I was uh, in any other games. I mean, get paralyzed all the time, but this one right here is just bugging me. Okay. Screw you guys. Okay, so that's two down, and I think I got like three more people to go here. Could be wrong. Alright. Let's. Oh, wow. I need to stock up on healing items. Okay. Well, that, that I'll take care of that later on. Of course, we're going into the uh, Seafoam Mile, so not a, not a lot of stuff that we uh, we will find in there, except for just, uh, I guess, maybe one or two items and then a legendary Pokemon. And here we have another beauty coming up to us, and she's like, Seedra, let's go! Hydra, let's really go. Thunderbolt. You know, it would be cool to actually have a Seedra on your team if it came in or early on, but... Uh-uh. Not the case right here. So, let's go to Tank. Tank will do the rest. Tank will destroy everybody. Tank. I'm so glad that I named him Tank. Because he's a tank of a Pokemon. There we go. Alrighty. And then, coming out with another Seedra. So that Seedra will be faster than us. So I'm gonna go with that Body Slam. That Leer Attack won't do anything. It won't. You won't. Oh, come on. Should have beaten him right there and then, but... Ugh. Really? Okay, strength attack for another win. Yes! Goodbye, Seedra. Alrighty, okay, so... Feeling good. Feeling awesome. Quit it. She's telling me to quit it? Come on. You started it. So, here we are! The Fuchsia... Or, not the Fuchsia. The Seafall Islands right here, guys. Of course, many of you guys already know that there's a glitch right there for Pokemon Red and Blue, not Yellow. And the Propel's effect wore off. Now, there's two areas to this whole place. Um, we have to go in here to get to there. And, uh, well, we've got one more trainer to battle. I'm going to have to battle him anyway. Wrong guy. Um, who should I get? Okay, so this is, this is for all of mine. I need to know who is going to level up this, or who's close to. So this guy is at 3,000. 
This homeboy is at 500. Okay, so it looks like Tank will be next. Pikachu is uh, 3,000 away. Thrasher is, well, 3,000 away. Most of these guys are like, oh no, wrong one. Whew. Oh man, I almost flew away. All that hard work for nothing. And this guy's nearly about to, uh... Okay, so... Okay, so it's going to have to be Tank and... And Godzilla. So we're going to have to switch it up right here. And hopefully this guy will have, like, maybe one or two Pokemon. So he's like, I love floating with the fishes! Alright, you crazy bastard. Let's go. Oh, it's a chick. Okay, so we're only going to have one Pokemon and... That's a Sea King, so it looks like Tank's gonna grow a level here. Body Slam. And, wow, that... Yeah, you really wanted to confuse me right there. Would have been a dick. Alrighty, so Tank grows to level 12, or 36. We're, we're making some good progress right here. I, I have a feeling that we'll be fine. We'll be good. I think I, I chose the right path right here. So stay tuned, guys, in the next episode. We will be going into the Seafoam Islands, trying to capture Articuno, the legendary Pokemon. See you guys.